So I'm going to let you in on a little secret about parents raising kids with autism. I have three kids with autism. I've been raising them for 23 years. Uh, and so I, I know a little bit about this. Um, we are not perfect. We are not infallible and we are not superhuman. I know there's this like thought process where we want to talk about like superhuman autism warrior parents. And I get that. And that's fine if that's your thing. But I worry that sometimes it sends a message that we have to be perfect. special family welcome back to another video if you're new here hi I'm autism mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between today we're doing another fair use reaction video let's take a look at the video so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about parents raising kids with autism I have three kids with autism I've been raising them for 23 years uh, and so I, I know a little bit about this um, we are not perfect we are not infallible and we are not superhuman I know there's this like thought process where we want to talk about like superhuman autism warrior parents and I get that and that's fine if that's your thing but I worry that sometimes it sends a message that we have to be perfect and we're never going to be we are going to be tired and overwhelmed and exhausted and angry and frustrated and sad and depressed and uh, we are going to be jealous of other parents who maybe aren't dealing with some of the challenges that we're dealing with, right? We're gonna be lonely and feel isolated and there'll be times we wanna give up. Not because we're bad parents, not because we don't love our kids, but because we're human, right? So I feel like if we acknowledge those very real human limitations, we can allow ourselves the grace to be human and not hold ourselves to an impossible standard and then beat ourselves up when we fail to reach it. Our kids are awesome. You know, th these challenges aren't a reflection of, of their value or their worth to us or how much we love them. It's just the reality of the situation a lot of times. So just allow yourself the grace to be imperfect we all are right so you're doing a great job you're doing a great job your kids are lucky to have you i'm very proud of you so uh pass this along to somebody who needs to hear that all right take care guys as a special neat mom i appreciate hearing this i needed to hear this because as i'm sitting here i am going through it and <laughs> Let me just break it down to you. My son swing down the curtain rod like he was Tarzan on a chandelier. And now I got two big holes where the curtain rod was in the wall. Then two hours later, he had a fecal smearing incident all over himself and the bed linen, the whole nine. Then a couple hours after that, while I was washing dishes, Apparently, I didn't close the bathroom door properly. The neighbor was knocking on my door telling me that there's water leaking into her bathroom. From my bathroom. I left the neighbor at the door, ran into my bathroom. The whole hallway was flooded. I opened the bathroom door and Ramsey is sitting in the water of the flooded bathroom with his iPad in the bottom of the sink. When I finish this video, I have to go to Apple to get a new communication device slash iPad. So yeah, I'm not doing okay. So I needed to hear this, that I'm doing a good job because some days it'll take Jesus, the angels, and the Holy Ghost to get me through it. And this is someday. Let's go to the comment section. First commenter says, I cry all the time and I always am jealous of the parents that have neurotypical kids. It's hard. Everything is hard. I get you, mom. And you don't want to do that. It's easy for people to say, don't do that. But when you look at other kids your child's age and you're like, I can't even hear the words, mom. You can't help it but do it. Next commenter, definitely have run into the, the thoughts. Am I doing enough? Am I doing what's right? Am I as good as a parent as so-and-so? It's gotten better lately, but when those thoughts hit, they hit hard. I can only imagine. Next commenter, I struggle so much daily, especially with no support system. Your page helps me. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. I appreciate your page too. Next commenter, so needed this. I often feel jealous of others, especially when it comes to family gatherings and we can't attend or stay very short periods. Can I get a witness? Next commenter, I just told my mom there's never an off time. 
no matter what my husband and I have to be aware. We don't even let other people babysit them except for my for like my mom. It's so hard. It's overwhelming. I totally get it. There's no off day. And you don't want other people to babysit because what if he floods their house? Now you're in a whole another predicament. Next comment sir. Some days are really hard. Today I had a hard day. I cried for hours because it's really a struggle dealing with the meltdowns. And because I feel like a failure and wish I could do more to help. I, I get that. Because I cried and I cried and I cried. I called the handyman to come and try to find bolts in the, either in the wall or in the ceiling and then to put a wood and then we'll attach the um bracket or the um the curtain rod to that piece of wood so it can have some weight like hold some weight just in case he does it again and when the handyman came i opened the door i showed him where the holes were in the wall and he's like okay so he's family friend and he's talking and i'm just crying because i'm like I'm mopping up the floor with all this water. I have like five towels just laid out and I'm mopping the floor and trying to get this water off the floor and I'm just crying. He just came over and gave me a hug because I was overwhelmed. <laughs> Next commenter. It's hard to accept compliments when I think of times. I have a meltdown when my son's sensory issues trigger my own. It's tough, but I keep trying. Fighting the system daily is exhausting for sure too. Yes. Next commenter. Definitely needed to hear this today. I have three boys on the spectrum. Also, I'm in the toddler phase and after my tears, after therapy this morning, this is much needed. If you would like to follow this dad, this is his TikTok page and handle. Go ahead and give him a follow. But I'm telling you the God honest truth. It is not easy and sometimes we need parents like the, like him. To tell us, hey, stop for a second. I know you're frustrated. I know it seems like the end of the world. But you are doing a good job. Sometimes there are parents out there who don't have any help. And it's just them 24-7 with their kid trying to make this work. Guess what? You are doing a good job. To the single special need dads who go to work and make sure their kid is okay. And have no support. Hey, special need dad, you are doing a good job. To the siblings who also support their parents with their special needs siblings. Because sometimes it's easy to overlook the siblings. But we, special need parents, appreciate you. And guess what? You are also doing an amazing job. So from me to you, as this dad says, hey, you're doing a good job. Catch you in the next one. Bye.